and parents say the school district failed them and now they're demanding change. They say earlier this month their daughter was the student verbally threatened by a 10 year old boy. He's no longer a student at the school. However, investigators say that boy confessed to killing a man when he was just seven. Ken's five reporter Zach Briggs spoke with the girl's parents. Someone dropping the ball as to why the procedures are not being followed. A scary situation for Samantha and John Pettis' nine-year-old daughter, who was on a school bus headed to basketball practice the night of April 11th. It was said that the little boy had previously killed somebody, so my daughter had asked, and the little boy said, yeah, well, do you want me to shoot you? The girl reported the incident to school officials the following day, but the parents say the district didn't officially notify them until Monday afternoon. At least by Friday, I should have known something. I don't need details of the other student. I need to know if my kid is in danger. Authorities say the 10 year old boy allegedly confessed to shooting and killing Brandon Raspberry of Nixon in 2022. Kind of in shock at first and then kind of didn't really sit in until that following morning that, hey, this is this is pretty serious. The Pettises met with the superintendent and elementary school principal this morning. They claim fault was admitted, saying they should have been informed sooner. He could basically just just say that procedures will be followed in, in the in the future. How can I be ensured that procedures will be followed going forward? As for what's next, the Pettises plan to make their voices heard during next month's school board meeting. Bring the subject to light, you know, and see what's going on, see where the failure is, because these are our kids that they have in their hands. Zach Briggs, Ken's Five. Also tonight, we did hear from the superintendent of Nixon Smiley CISD. The statement says in part that safety is a top priority and quote, in the event of a reported threat, our campus leaders follow established protocols to ensure the immediate safety of everyone under our care. We work closely with multiple agencies to assess the situation and determine the best course of action with the aim of gaining insight and improving rather our response to future incidents, end quote. Now to weather where timing is everything.